welcome you to the show. Hello everyone, welcome back to Collective Wardrobe. Today I'm doing a Halloween themed video. So we're going to go thrifting for some Halloween costumes and then I'm going to show you guys a quick thrift haul. So you guys are going to get a thrift with me, thrift haul, and maybe even some costume ideas thrown into there. Um, for Halloween I really want to be Roy Gilmore from Gilmore Girls. Um, so hopefully I can find the Chilton uniform costume. Um, well, I know I didn't find it, but I might go thrifting again to try to find the skirt because the skirt just is not similar, but it's just going to have to do for the time being. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about Halloween. I'm just really sad if my costume is not like accurate the way I want it to be, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and do the thrift with me and then we'll do the thrift haul. So I'm looking for a plaid skirt and a button down and everything and I'm with my friends so we're gonna see what we got and it's a Sunday so there's extra deals. Oh wow, hold on one second. Well if I'm not Rory I could be Slytherin, a Slytherin person. Look at this one. It too. It's like... I mean if we're going for like Saturday Night Fever or something. <laughs> this one's a Talbot's one. I love Talbot. Oh it's <laughs> so cute. Oh. This reminds me of Little Women so Put it in the cart. Our cart's already full, so we're thriving. This was the other one. <laughs> Alright, I'm in the skirt section. Let's see if they have it. I've been looking for this one. iPhone 4S for seniors for dummies. This is the most early 2000s thing I've seen in a while. I found this skirt. It's not identical to Rory's, but I think I'm just gonna have to go with it because it's the only one I found. And then I found this blue shirt to go with it. And I already have the shoes and the vest, so I'm almost there. <laughs> Maybe 90s, but oh my. Alright guys, now that you guys saw a little bit of the thrift with me, I'm going to show you what I got from the thrift store. I found most of the stuff I needed, so that's cool. I also am going to show you a couple costume ideas that I have as backups if my first idea doesn't work. Um, and then I'm just going to show you generally what I got. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but that's alright. I didn't need a lot of stuff. I just need stuff for my costume. So anyways, let's get started with that. Alright, so I got the uniform stuff right here. So I already have saddle shoes. If you don't know what saddle shoes are, they're the shoes she wears. They're like uniform short shoes. They're kind of like what people wore in the 1950s and stuff. But I have this skirt. See, it's kind of the same thing, but hers is like a light blue, like this color with a navy blue, so that's why it's off, and it kind of upsets me. But you know what, we're just going to go with this. As long as it's a general vibe, I say it's fine. And then I got this from the thrift, which was really easy to find. It's just like a light blue button down. Um, and then I ordered off Amazon the little neckties that people wear in uniforms. I really didn't want to buy anything from Amazon. I wanted this to be completely thrifted, but it was impossible to find those neckties. I don't know how to find them. Like I even looked in the craft section for just like ribbon so I could make it myself and I couldn't find that either. So I cheated and I bought um, the neckties off Amazon but I really wanted it to be as accurate as possible so we're just going to go with it. Um, and I know Rory would want it to be as accurate as possible as well so trying to really get in character you know. And then I have the Chilton blazer which I also got at the thrift and it's the perfect like kind of like cropped cut that I needed because hers is very fitted. It like stops right here. It doesn't go any longer. I also have a blue vest. So I'm going to see which one goes best because she wears a blue vest in some, but in the first season she mostly wears this. Um, so yeah. And then she wears knee high socks and tights, but I'm going to go with tights because I have that. Uh, and yeah. So that's the first option is Rory Gilmer. And all I have to do is straighten my hair 
and I'll show you guys the costume, don't worry. But I want to show you a couple other costume ideas that I have. Okay, so here is Rory Gilmore's costume. I have the blazer, the skirt actually doesn't look that bad, and then you can't see my shoes, but I'm wearing her um, saddle shoes. And just imagine a necktie. This is a men's shirt, so it's a little off, but it's fine. Um, imagine the necktie, and there you go, Rory Gilmore. I also have the vest, but I really like the jacket, so I think I'm going to stick with the jacket. The other costume I have is to be Wendy Darling from Peter Pan. I thrifted this a couple weeks ago. It's this like blue vintage um, night, night robe type thing, but then it comes with this really pretty nightgown that probably an old lady wore, but nobody has to know that. I would just wear like a slip underneath and I could be Wendy Darling, and it would be really easy and just curl my hair. Um, but I just feel like Wendy Darling is usually like a group costume and I'm doing an individual costume so I kind of don't want to do Wendy Darling. Um, but this is my backup so I'll go show maybe this outfit on. Okay, and then here is my very comfy Wendy Darling outfit. Um, it's just the nightgown and then it's this robe over it. I mean, you can take the robe off but it's all going to be kind of cold so that's why I was thinking keep the robe on. But yeah, so this would be Wendy Darling, um, and yeah, so now I'm going to show you the last look. So you guys have already seen this because you've, if you've watched my other video, um, which was like a thrift with me haul type thing, but I have this like fringe dress, um, and I think it's from the 70s or the 80s, but I was thinking of making it like a 1920s outfit with like some tights and some high heel, not high heels, but like those little vintage high heels with like maybe a feather and my hair done in that like 1920s Downton Abbey style. Um, so yeah, that's my third option. I think this is really cute. It's just, I feel like it's not completely accurate to the era. It definitely is from the 70s and 80s and I just feel like it's not all accurate. I don't know. So I'm just like, I'd rather go with Rory, and I've been watching Gilmore Girls for like five years, like I've rewatched it and rewatched it, I feel like it's time for me to dress up as Rory. So, that's my reasoning, but comment down below what you think I should wear, because I'm really interested in what you guys have to say, um, and yeah. Now this is the last outfit that I would do, it would be my 1920s one, maybe have my hair back, put on some cute shoes, I don't have any of that, so this really is like last, last minute. Um, but I just love this dress. I just need an excuse to wear it. That's kind of the only point. But yeah, so that would be that. Alright, so now I want to show you what else I got at the thrift just in general. I got this chunky black cardigan sweater that you could get at like Target or like some other nice store. Um, and I got it vintage and I got it in really nice condition. Except the tag's written, ripped out so I really don't know like what brand it is. But I mean... You can't go wrong with these type of sweaters, and, like, it's so cute and perfect for fall. So, I got this, which is awesome. And I got this little Talbot dress, and if you know me or if you watch previous videos, I love Talbots, my favorite vintage brand. And I got this cute little button-down dress, and it has a collar, and it has little flowers on it, and it's so cute. It's so cute. I can't get over it. And so it's perfect for fall, layering. Or even in the spring when it's going from like cold to warm, it's perfect. So I'm really excited about this dress. It has a little tie in the back and it's just adorable. That's all I have to say about it. And then this is probably the most interesting find I found because um, it has a lot of backstory to it. So these are these gardening old lady Orvis pants. Um, they're vintage and it came with a matching shirt. Um, but I just got the pants because I like the pants better. Um, yeah, they're so cute. I can't, okay, so the reason I got these pants did not need them, but about a year ago or two years ago on Instagram, I bought from a vintage seller that was selling this vintage Orvis dress that looks like a 1950s dress, but it's from like the 90s or something, and it has this beautiful floral pattern on it, and it's such a cute dress. Anyways, I found like two years later, as of now, these pants, which are the same exact fabric, and it's a grandma gardening pant set, and I just had to do it. I couldn't resist it, and Orvis is an amazing brand, and yeah, so that's why I bought these pants. I don't know if I'll wear them, but I couldn't resist the offer to buy matching pants to my dress, so that's where we are right now. And then another item I got is this little 
um, vest and it's made out of like ties which I thought was really cool and creative um, and the reason I bought it because it's not really my style um, but the reason I bought it is because if you've seen the newer Little Women um, the stylist dresses Joe particularly in vests and they're, they look like they're made out of a material or a fabric or a pattern that's like kind of like a tie which I think is like a hint that she has more of like a masculine side and she's not as feminine as like society's expectations if you really want to go deep but I was thinking if I ever wanted to go as Joe from Little Women I could wear this with like a big maxi skirt and then like a button up shirt with a, with a handkerchief or something um, I don't have those items but at least I have the vest now, so I can make up the outfit if I needed to. Um, and I was thinking of even doing a Little Women video, but like an updated version of one, like modern day Little Women outfits. Um, so stay tuned for that. I might be making that now that I have this vest. Um, so yeah, this is a little cute guy. And then also stay tuned because I'm going to be making a closet clean out video because I have too much stuff. So keep an eye out for that one. Um, but yeah, this is the last item of my haul. Again, I didn't really get a lot of stuff because I was really focused on thrifting for my my costume, obviously. So yes, yeah, so comment down below what you think I should be for Halloween. You can include Joe in this if you want me to be Joe, but mainly it's Rory, Wendy, or the 1920s girl. So yeah, can't wait to see your votes. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you want. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Your grace is my defense Your kindness calls me friend